talk to Eric about the all-important weekend forecast, as they say on the news. <laughs> That's right. That is what we say, isn't it? Soupy to start and maybe even a little rain? Yeah, a little bit of rainfall, but I'll tell you what, compared to the last four or five weekends, I think this might stack up kind of favorably against the competition. And we need to get the final numbers in on the month of May and stacked up like this. Ninth warmest in Worcester on record, third warmest in Providence, fourth warmest in Hartford, and Boston the 11th warmest at Logan Airport. Out there tonight, another warm one near 80 degrees in many spots, up to 83 in Manchester, 82 in Keene. Your cool spots on the south coast and the Cape. Well, we'll be socked in with the fog and the mist overnight, but we've been some, seeing some brightening skies moving in from the west, and all told, not a bad evening out there. Okay, unless you mind the humidity too much, dew points near 70. It will stay tropical tonight. Florida's visiting for a little bit. Those uh, very high dew points all the way up into southeastern Canada this evening. They'll last until early tomorrow afternoon before we start to really dry out the air. In terms of the actual showers, most of them are done for the evening. A few spritzes have been moving in across Narragansett Bay, and these will continue to move up toward the New Bedford area. Southeastern Massachusetts, the dampest spot on the map for this Friday eve, and a lot of fog. Dense fog advisories are up through through tomorrow morning with visibility under a quarter mile at time. So some poor overnight visibility for traveling. The temperatures will stay in the mid to upper 60s. Very warm, good air conditioner evening. You'll only need it tonight because by tomorrow night, We'll be looking at much more comfortable conditions. We do start the day with some cloud cover on Saturday. And as we head toward mid-morning, a few pop-up showers develop. And I think the main time frame to watch will be about 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. across the area. There's going to be a little weak boundary here that helps a few of those form. It's not going to be an all-day thing. A lot of towns will end up staying dry. We'll just have to dodge a few of these. And then we'll see a drying and clearing trend late in the afternoon and toward the evening. So this is kind of the zone where I think we have the best odds of seeing one of those quick rain showers tomorrow. Especially in Merrimack Valley and heading down just west of Boston through Metro West and especially down into Connecticut and Rhode Island. Everyone else has a good shot at staying dry. In terms of the humidity, the dew points are high overnight. It's very humid tomorrow morning if you get up early. Midday, we're starting to bring down the dry air across New Hampshire and northern Worcester County. And then during the afternoon, now we really start to see that fall. Tomorrow evening, it's great sleeping weather. The windows can be wide open again. High temperatures close to 80 again tomorrow. We'll get well into the 80s to the west. For all your areas near the coastline, we're warm in the morning. As we head into the afternoon, that northeast breeze will freshen and temperatures will start to fall back. Great weather for the Revs tomorrow night at Gillette Stadium. 67 degrees at 730. The humidity will have dropped out. And then tomorrow night, we go all the way back into the low and middle 50s. After the warm day, it's going to feel much more crisp outside. Nice evening. Then on Sunday, it's not warm. It's not necessarily a June day or a beach day, but I'd say it's a pretty nice day. We're going to see temperatures in the upper 50s near the water, 60s inland, bright skies. It will be breezy along the water's edge. So it will feel extra cool, especially on the Cape in the upper 50s. But with the sunshine, very strong this time of year, I think it'll make up for things a little bit. And the last check up toward northern New England, fabulous weekend. Awesome weather around Lake Winnipesaukee near 80 tomorrow and 70 on Sunday with bright skies. Next week, we get a pattern change for a few days. Rain likely on Monday in the 50s, some showers on Tuesday, and a chance for some more scattered rain on Wednesday. It does look like we'll start to pull out of that by Thursday and could be back to 80 by next Friday. David and Lisa, back to you. Outstanding. Mm -hmm. Eric, Thanks, thank Eric. you. Well, right now, it is a great event that's under.